practice going on on Thursday. I just want to make sure. Uh, welcome, everybody. Thanks for coming out to the Clevelander Hotel here on beautiful South Beach for the U.S. Davis Cup uh, press conference. You all know, I'm sure, that this is the 100th year of the competition, starting back in 1900, when a Harvard student from St. Louis, Missouri, Dwight Davis donated a sterling silver ball as a prize for an international tennis competition. Two nations took part in that first year in 1900, and last year the event has grown to include 131 participating nations. And to celebrate uh, the 100th year, Davis Cup will be returning to its birthplace July 16th to 18th at Longwood. And we couldn't be more pleased to be back where it all started. Now, if we defeat Great Britain uh, in, uh, in England, we will take on the winner of the Australia-Zimbabwe tie. And if we lose, we will host a qualifying tie uh, against a nation yet to be determined. Now, as I said, we're delighted to uh, be returning to the Longwood Cricket Club and we will be announcing our plans with the ITF for the celebration, the centennial celebration, just after our match with England uh, is concluded. Now, without any further delay, let me turn it over to our Davis Cup captain, Tom Gullickson, who's going to formally announce uh, the members of our team who will take on the Brits. Tom? Well, thank you, Rick, and uh, welcome everyone to South Beach. Uh, in fact, the other day I was having a cup of coffee with Tim Henman in the Senesta coffee shop, and I was trying to talk him into playing the tie here at the Lipton site because the weather's great, the food is great here, but he didn't buy into it. So I guess we will be going to Birmingham. But uh, I want to say how proud I am of the, these guys who've committed to play on our team for 1999 and you know, we just happened to uh, have caught a couple stragglers here walking down South Beach and I would like to uh, introduce two members of our team right now and have them come over here Jan Michael Gamble and Alex O'Brien they were heading out to the beach but they uh, we caught them here so have a seat fellow <laughs> And uh, the other two members uh, of, the, of the U.S. team who will play Great Britain are Todd Martin and Jim Currier. So that is our 1999 Davis Cup team. We're, we're very excited. Uh, and certainly England is, is a very difficult opponent. But uh, I can guarantee you we're going to go over there. We're going to work very hard. We're going to have some fun. And we're all going to represent the United States of America very well in this upcoming tie. Oh, I will say that between Jan Michael, uh, Jim Currier, and Todd Martin, we do have a 13-2 and two record over the two English players, uh, Henman and Rosetsky. Well, I would have to say that, you know, the English, you know, they're playing at home and they've got two top 10 players. And so I think the pressure's on them to win the match. I mean, they're playing at home in front of a friendly crowd and, they're, they're two top ten players, so sure, I, I'd have to say they were slight favorites. Well, you know, I, I talked to Andre uh, in January about playing, and he indicated at that time, you know, he wasn't planning on playing this year. And obviously the other day he reiterated that, and I'd really prefer to concentrate on the guys who are uh, committed to play. You know, sometimes... Uh, Controversy can act as a positive because it helped make you stronger and really increase your resolve to take the, these guys here, Alex and Jan Michael, Todd and Jim, who are really committed to it and really go out and, and give a wonderful performance. And uh, I will say that, that everybody has their own individual reasons for either playing or not being available to play. And. Uh, Everybody's got to live by their own decisions, and uh, I think playing for your country should always be the highest priority. I would just like to have a closing comment for the Americans in the audience. I know the British probably won't be supporting us too well over there, but, but uh, I would just like to say 
I'd really like everyone to get behind the team in this time and be very positive about our approach to it and our effort. And I, that would be a great thing for you all to do. Thank you. Thanks, Phil. It was a rather humble beginning because the British team, the three, uh, Black, Barrett, and Gore, were called the Dauntless Three. They paid their own way to come over. Now, you're never going to see that again in Davis Cup. They took a detour when they arrived in the United States because they felt they ought to see Niagara Falls. They weren't too concerned about practicing. But when they got there, it was a good crowd, about 1,200 people at Longwood Cricket Club. And that's why Longwood is so pleased to be the place where the 100th year is being celebrated. It started at Longwood, a different location, a few miles away, and it's coming back to Longwood. You know, when I get to England, I'm gonna find a bookmaker, and it's legal there, and I'm gonna bet $100 on the United States. Not because I'm a great patriot, because I've seen so much Davis Cup, and the unusual, the unexpected always happens. The English are favorites, Tim Henman, Greg Rusetsky, two top 10 players, the United States doesn't have anybody in the top 10, and yet Davis Cup, and that's why I love it, is screwy. Odd things happen, just like last year, Zimbabwe beating Australia in Australia. I think the Americans can win. I think Todd Martin is capable of beating both Henman and Rusetsky. I think Jim Courier is going to beat one of them. Okay, Todd, their chance. Well, first of all, I feel great about my team. You know, our team for this first tie against Britain, uh, Courier, Martin, Gamble and Alex O'Brien. So we've got a team of four very committed guys who are very eager to, to go over there and do battle for the U.S. of A. Yeah, we've got some great experience with Todd and Jim. Uh, Todd's had a great record over Henman and Rosetsky, and Courier has as well. And, and Gamble's had some good success against uh, Henman, and he hasn't played Rosetsky. So we've got three guys who've got a combined record of 13 and 2 against Henman and Rosetsky. Yeah, well, it's the 100th uh, Davis Cup, and it, it's, it is. It's a big deal. This is a big match. Um, they have two huge marquee players, and I guess really the pressure's on them uh, to come through. They're, they're going to be the favorite, and, and um, we're just going to go over there and, and try to do the best job we can do and, and put together the best team we, we have to offer, and, and uh, we're really excited about it and really positive about this uh, tie. I think that it, it is a huge honor, obviously, to play on the Davis Cup team, and, and uh, this is a very big tie against England. It's a very tough first match, and uh, maybe we're the underdogs going in, maybe not. I think, don't think that really matters when you go into Davis Cup. You know, it's who, who wins the three out of the five matches. And uh, it's a huge tie, and there has been a lot of talk, and, it, and it's just, like I said, it's a great honor to be able to play. Fifteen fourteen. Quite please. Quite please. Thank you.